Hello Sheddies and you join me again in my shed. A while back Scoutcraft has set a challenge to make your own screwdriver from scratch. So I've not done any one of these challenges before so I thought I'd do this one but I had a bit of an accident. So I'm going to have to do it sort of one handed, my left hand, and I want to use this screwdriver so I thought I'd make a left hand screwdriver. And then next week I may do a glass hammer and I was thinking of finishing it in tartan paint but I was going to hang it on some sky hooks but um, I've got to get the level right on the wall for, for, before I hang them first so uh, I need a bubble for my spirit level but that's going in other videos. I thought of all sorts of ideas of how I can make this screwdriver but I wanted to use things I've already got lying around in the shed and I'm, I say I'm a bit restricted because I can only use this hand a little bit. Hats off to anybody that's got one arm. Yeah, just using my left hand anyway, I'm right handed, so using my left hand is awkward as it is. Uh, and then try not to use this hand as well. Anyway, here's the video of me making it, and uh, I've probably broke every health and safety rule going. But it's my shed, my rules, so there we go. So here it is, roll VT. Looking through this old toolbox, I found this, I think it's a hole punch, it's a raw plug number 14. And I think it's, you have to put the pins in there. And you can see raw plug number 14. Found this coach bolt that I was gonna use for the screwdriver part. And I was gonna put a pin in there through that hole and then drill the, the uh, coach bolt, uh, put a pin in there and pin it over. But I decided instead to thread it. So I got me tap and die kit out and it spilled all over the place, hence the mess. <laughs> and there's me trying it out on my left hand. So I'm not gonna be able to use it on my right. Bit of cutting oil. You'll see things in this video i'm not a, an expert it's just my hobby so uh, don't do as i do <laughs> of course um i may have done things a bit yeah health and safety went out the window a little bit <laughs> doesn't help having a broken arm which yeah i shouldn't be doing some of these tasks but i'm okay i've lived to tell the tale i test fitted the coach bolt in the thread hole first and then i cleaned out a bit of the debris with uh, some earbuds. Got me grinder with a flappy disc on there. Does anyone need any sparks for a grinder? <laughs> yeah, I just kept on rotating it round and sanding each side. And then the ends. And then on to my belt sander. I put a higher grit on there. And this was awkward with one hand, really awkward. <laughs> but I got there. And I made this modification to this, this belt sander where I use Velcro to hold the cover on. It's easy to get, it's easy to get the belts off and on. And I say I really could spend a bit more time on this, but it was a bit awkward, very awkward in fact. So I put the coach bolt into my drill, bench drill. And I started uh, sanding the thread down, but I thought, oh, I better cut the end off first. So I changed it to the cutting disc and then back to the flappy wheel. What I wanted to do is make it thinner 
but then at the end I want it to be like a teardrop so I can have a, a larger screwdriver end if that makes sense. I went a bit over the top, you'll see it later in the video. I tried taking an angle off each side of the tip of the screwdriver and I made a bit of a mess of it. Yeah, it got a bit hot. <laughs> so you can see there the sort of rough shape, like a bit of a teardrop at the end. And, the thinner, and thinner in the middle. And I flattened the end off. The disc sander. Bit of water on standby. Scored the end of the bit. So I can see where to take the end of the tip to. And then I use my bench grinder. So I'm dipping it in the water. Cool it down. At this point I screwed down the, uh, the bench grinder because it was moving all over the place. Yeah, at this point it was, I should have left it like that, but no, well, test fitted it first. And then I started taking a little bit off the edges. I thought, what am I doing here? But I was committed at that point. But it's my first one, so I thought, a bit of trial and error. I need to get a better buffing wheel than this. Using it on the drill press, yeah, it's not the ideal way of doing it. It's not fast enough for a start. Polishing it up. Got some aerodite. Mix that up. And then put it on the end of the thread. And then threaded it into the main parts of the screwdriver and I left some of the thread exposed two reasons really main one was I wanted to show where it actually originated so it shows the thread of there still on the screwdriver and also if that arrow die breaks for whatever reason I can thread it further down put a pin in there and then pin it over but yeah you can see the finish on there I could have done a lot better but it was so awkward with one arm but it's a task for another day bit of wax, cleaning wax on there. So there it is all finished. I say I've left that thread on there because if the arrow die breaks or whatever, then I can thread it further down and then put a pin in there, which I was going to do in the first place actually, and then pin it over like a nice brass pin. I could get the finish a lot better on this, but it's hard with one hand, <laughs> one arm. I think I really do it when I get my cast off. The end there, I went over the top with that. I should have just left it as it was, I rounded off the edges, but. I'm not totally happy with it, but I've made one out of bits from the shed. So I'm pleased about that. And thanks Scout for putting that challenge out there. First one I've done, I've missed so many before. You go and check Scout Crafters channel out. I know you'll find it fascinating. Great channel. It could be from his collect things he's collected throughout his life or to repairing a tool or to refurbing a tool or whatever. A wealth of knowledge, definitely worth subscribing. I say I'll only be using this while I've got my cast on because afterwards, can't use it because it's left-handed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in for the glass hammer with the tartan paint. That reminds me, I still need to buy some skirting board ladders. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.